Imagine just how intense all this was when it was going on. The street here in front of the district attorney's office and the courthouse, very, very narrow. You had people pressed up against gates trying to catch a glimpse of the motorcade across the street, press from around the world, and also protesters both for and against Mr. Trump. Trump protesters applauding and then breaking into song. <laughs> Moment word came from inside the courthouse that former President Donald Trump was now formally under arrest. I am here celebrating that Trump is being held accountable for one iota of things that he has done since he, since he has been like a wrong 20 for 50 years. I believe in the rule of law in this country, and I don't think anybody is above the rule of law. And on the other side of Collect Pond Park, pro-Trump supporters. It's a frightening turn of events for this country. Just the rule of law completely thrown out. Persecution. Sad, sad, very sad. It's so petty, it's so... Yeah, it's, it's, it is political. So George Bush said steel barricades splitting the park in two for hours, keeping the two sides apart. The lunatics over on the other side, the progressive activist Democrats, getting crazy and threatening. There's a lot of anger on that other side, a lot of yelling and screaming. And you saw January 6th. Uh, there's a lot of evil. Um, so we just bring music and drums and tambourines. And and try to drown out the sound. The rally for Trump organized by Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. She read a brief statement and then had to be escorted back to her car. Long Island Congressman George Santos also showing up, telling PIX11 News. As many supporters as he can this. get, I showed up. <laughs> Protests remained peaceful overall, but just a few shouting matches between small groups. Break it up! And there were some unique characters. The naked cowboy, a lady dressed as a cop with a Trump doll in handcuffs, and a man dressed as one of the Capitol rioters, riding a bike wrapped in red, white, and blue. Get excited, it's a circus! And despite all of those people and the passions being so high, police telling us tonight they did not make any arrests here.